Welcome to TooEasyToLearn.com. Linear inequalities. Student, in this lesson, we will discuss past paper question related to topic linear inequalities and simultaneous linear inequalities. Linear inequalities. Question number one. Find two solutions of inequality 3x plus 4 less than 11 that lie between 2 and 3. So first we will solve this inequality and then we will decide how to find the answer between these two numbers. If you look at this inequality, this is the inequality sign, it has two sides one is right hand side and other is left hand side uh, on the left hand side the 4 is added so we will subtract 4 from both side so 3x plus 4 less than 11 so we will subtract 4 from both side subtract 4 from both side so this is cancelled so what we will left 3x less than 7 now 3 is multiplying on left side and we have to remove this so we will divide it by 3 on the left side and the same procedure we will repeat the 7 divided by 3 so 3 is cancelled by 3 so what we left x less than 7 over, 7 over 3 now if we change this uh, number answer x less than we change this improper fraction into a mixed number and it would be 2 whole number 1 over 3 and you can write in decimal form as well 2.33 so any number less than 2.33 would be the answer but be careful here is a limit also 2 it should not be less than 2 to get a clear understanding let's draw a number line for example it's a 0 it's a 1 it's a 2 and it's 3 we'll divide in 3 equal parts so this is the 2 whole number 1 over 3 so your answer should be less than this but greater than 2 as per this given condition so any number between 2 and 2 whole number 1 over 3 could be your answer so it can be 2.1 it can be 2.2 it can be 2.25 that is your final answer it's a two mark question linear inequalities question number two find one value of x that satisfies both x greater than 4 and 17 minus 4x greater than 2 minus x students uh, in this uh, question we have two inequalities that's why we call it simultaneous linear inequality we have to solve and satisfy the both inequality the first inequality x greater than 4 it is already solved and it is obvious the number greater than 4 or the solution of x but in the second inequality first we need to solve it so 17 minus 4x greater than 2 minus x again this is the inequality sign and uh, it has two sides it's a left side and right side 17 is added here on the left side so we will subtract from the both side so negative 17 will subtract it from both side plus 17 minus 4x greater than again negative 17 plus 2 and negative x 17 is cancelled by 17 and minus 4x 
greater than negative 17 plus 2 is a negative 15 and negative x now x is on the right side so it is the negative we will add on both side so we will write minus 4x plus x we add it on both side minus 15 minus x and we will add on this side as well so it is cancelled by this so what we left we left here negative 4x plus x it's a negative 3x and greater than negative 15 a student uh, here on with x there is a negative number and we have to divide it by the negative 3 but whenever we divide by any negative number the inequality sign will also reverse so 15 divided by negative 3 so keep in your mind whenever you multiply by a negative number or you divide by a negative number the inequality sign will also be reverse it also be changed so negative 3 is cancelled by the negative 3 so we left x lesser than 5 now we have two solutions one is x greater than 4 and x lesser than 5 let's draw a number line to get a clear understanding for example this is a 0 this is a 1 2 3 4 and this is a 5 so our solution is x greater than 4 so this is x greater than 4 and x lesser than 5 and this is x lesser than 5 any number between 4 and 5 should be your answer so it could be 4.1 4.2 4.5 even so we should write the answer 4.5 it could be 4.6 it could be 4.9 it should satisfy the both condition x should be greater than 4 and lesser than 5 is two mark question linear inequalities question number three write down one possible value of x that satisfies each inequality part one square root of x greater than 2 and lesser than 3 so in, in this question uh, we have two inequalities for example let's write this inequality first again so square root of x greater than 2 and lesser than 3 so we have two sides uh, is a there are the two inequality sign in this question is a right side and it's a left side no there is a square root we need to finish this square root so we'll take square on both side of this inequality so square root is cancelled by the square so it's a 4 so x greater than 4 and lesser than 9 so any number between 4 and 9 could be your possible answer it could be 5 it could be 6 7 and 8 but it is asked only one possible answer so you can write it 6 you can write any number from or out of these four numbers it's a one more question question number two x cube greater than negative 1 and lesser than 0 let's write it again x cube greater than negative 1 and lesser than 0 so there is x cube we have to remove this x cube so what we need to do we need to take 
cube root on both side of this inequality so we'll take the cube root so cube is cancelled by the cube root and we will left with the cube root of negative 1 is 1 negative 1 so it's x cube root of 0 is 0 so x greater than negative 1 and x lesser than 0 let's draw inequality it's a 0 it's a negative 1 so x should be greater than negative 1 and it should be lesser than 0 so any number between negative 1 and 0 is a possible answer so we can write minus 0 0.5 so minus 0 0.5 or you can write minus 1 over 2 it's a one mark question linear inequalities question number 4 find the integers n that satisfy 4n minus 3 greater than 20 and lesser than 30 let's solve this inequality first we need to write it so we'll write 20 is a 4n minus 3 greater than 20 and uh, lesser than 30 so and if you observe we have two side of this inequality left and right and uh, we have uh, solved both uh, side at the same time so the middle is 4 and negative 3 so we'll add 3 on both side to remove this negative 3 so we'll write so 20 plus 3 so 4 and minus 3 so plus 3 is here and 30 and plus 3 we will do this extra work and uh, it is uh, cancelled 3 is cancelled by minus 3 so we will uh, left with the 23 so 4 n is a 33 now in the middle the 4 is multiplying so we'll divide uh, the whole inequalities on the both side by 4 so 4 divided by 4 right side is also 33 divided by 4 and 23 divided by 4 so 23 divided by 4 is 5 whole number 5 whole number 3 over 4 this 4 is cancelled so n and 33 divided by 4 is 8 whole number 1 over 4 so this is our final solution now we have to write all integers value in between 5 whole number 3 over 4 and 8 whole number 1 over 4 so if we draw this number line so if I mark it is here it's a 5 it's a 6 it's a 7 it's a 8 and 9 and it's a 4 so and it should be greater than 5 or number 3 over 4 it could be here and uh, it should be less than 8 or number 1 over 4 it could be here so our possible answer the number in between these two is 6 7 and 8 so our final answer is 6 7 and 8 all these are the integers two mark question linear inequalities question number five solve the inequalities 2x negative 5 greater than or equal to negative 4 and lesser than 7 let's write this inequality so negative 4 2x minus 5 so 2x minus 5 lesser than 7 and greater than or equal to negative 4 so we have uh, two sides of this inequality one is the uh, right side and the one is the left side so 2x minus 5 is a minus 4 is a 7 so to remove this we will add 5 on both side of this inequality 
so minus 4 plus 5 is equal to plus 1 2x this is cancelled and 7 plus 5 is equal to 12 now in the middle 2 is multiplying x we will divide 2 by 2 on both side both side will divide it by 2 so we have 1 over 2 it is cancelled is 6 so our final answer is x greater than or equal to 1 over 2 and less than 6 in this question they they did not ask uh, write the integer value or any value they just ask solve the inequality so this is our final answer and we'll write it here in the answer space so x greater than 1 over 2 and less than 6 it's a two mark question